But right away, we'll just go ahead and test her out again. Just build on the little principles every day. Take, take the halter off of her and see if she wants to stick with us. And just ask her to come around this way. Good. Look there and see if she'll stick. See how she kind of thought about leaving there? Good. Maybe I'll ask her again to come this way. Good girl. See how she thought about leaving? And what she has been doing is just taking off. See? And then, here, I'll get her to come with me this way. Good. So she's kind of thinking better of the leaving part. And that's really good because what she has been doing is just like bolting away. I'll just call her back here. Atta girl. Good, 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 good. Boo. Boo. Good. So we'll just go ahead and introduce the little flag there to Pearl again. Got to show it to her every night now. Rub on her. Good girl. Good girl. Behavior to change. Okay, we'll just go ahead and get a little uh, pearl here, kind of ready for maybe taking a sap and a cinch. We'll take that rope and just kind of start letting her feel a little belly pressure here. Maybe even get back there a little bit of flank pressure. That's good. She's doing really good there. Just do as much as you can under there. We've done a lot of rubbing on her belly with the tarp and everything. Okay, start feeling a little rope around her front legs there. Maybe reach down there and pick up a fetlock there. You see if you can't get her to bring her foot forward. Seek a little relief here. If you can, maybe you could even reach up here and there. Put a little pressure on the pet lock. There. This may help her one day if she ever got her foot stuck in a rope there. Put a little seesaw on there. Good. Good girl. So we're gonna see if we can't get her to Surrender her hip and her nose here at the same time. Just kind of hold her right there. Maybe encourage a little motion. Good girl. Good girl. Get yourself all ready. Good. Feel that coming. And step down here and then you try to maintain that 45 degree angle off of her hip. Yeah, we'll just kind of let her come up here and snip that gear if she wants to. Good. Rub her with it a little bit. Good. Good. Bump a little bit. Accepting of that. Right. Just let Pearl see that saddle come up here for the first time. She wants to sniff it. Just kind of heave it on up there. Let her feel that. Just take it right up. Good girl. Just start the process over here. Better see that saddle coming. Just heave it on up there like we own her. Good girl. Better feel that. Just take it on up. Good girl. Just want this to be a routine to her. Just heave it on up there like we own her. Good girl. Better feel that for a second. Keep her head towards you a little bit. 
Good girl. Feel that on her. Better feel that sense come up a couple of times. Always keep her head towards you. Try to find yourself a hole as soon as you can. Good. Just go ahead and cinch it off the first chance you get. Good, good. And me, I like to see if I can't get him to back up just a little bit here. Good. That's why we went through those little drills. Got him to back off just a little. This will kind of round her back up. Move that hip around. That'll round her back up. She'll feel that cinch, grab her while she's having to think about going backwards before she ever has to think about going forwards. Good. 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 Right here, I'll just go ahead and back her into the cinch again. There we go. Make her think about placing her feet. Good. Now I'll just go ahead and send her off here. If she wants to walk up, that's fine. Maybe I'll just remind her she still has to move her hip. And she still has to change directions. And she still has to move her hip. And still has to move her shoulders. And she still has to back up, even if there's a saddle on her back for the very first time. Does it let her feel something kind of banging around down there a little bit? The day may come that comes uncinched, falls down there, and I don't want it to startle her. And for kind of a high-sprung horse, for her just to kind of walk off like this is, makes me really, really happy and really, really proud of her. Just kind of keep her moving, change directions. I don't care if she trots off here just yet. I want her to get used to things. I sure don't want to get her scared. Go ahead and drive her hip away a little bit. Drive those shoulders off a little bit. Back her up a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Go ahead and push your hip. Change directions. Nice. Pick up. Good girl. Let her travel. Good girl. Change directions here. Good girl. No panic. Go ahead and change back. There you go. Just go ahead and send her hip off. I always like to kind of cheek them over here. I take that back cinch up the first time, try to do it one handed. Just take it up to where it touches. Always send them off. There we go. She might feel that. Good girl. Change directions here. Good girl. Didn't turn her back here. Good girl. Get her loping a little bit here now. Good. Good girl. Let her see that tarp. And from now on, we'll do a little bit of groundwork. Get her saddled. She can't do all of her groundwork with a saddle on her back. So, as we get started today, good girl, good girl. What I really like there is that she just parked herself. We've been trying to let her know that's a quiet place to be. Good, good girl. So that's a great session. Well, these last couple of days, we've been trying to get her to surrender her face to us by putting our finger in her mouth, massaging her tongue, and encouraging her to bring her head over here low and left. Good. Just kind of slip our finger in there and just 
Barely a courager. There. Very nice. So that. What I kind of look for. The day and the moment that arrives. Looky there. She had took it all on her own. Barely encourage her to come over here. And I wanted to kind of find that all on her own. Mm -hmm. She wants to hold that like there. I'll maybe I'll just reach and tickle her a little bit. There you go. Day comes when I reach like this. She keeps her head left and looks for that bit just like that. I'll just encourage her to come left again. Just go ahead and spit it on out if she wants to. I'll just get there. So then when you go to unsaddle, on that first time, I kind of cheek them here a little bit, so don't get yourself hurt. Just try to keep her head turned to you a little bit. Just bring it all off at once, just like so. But then in time, you'll start setting your gear up and all that. So I was really happy with that.